Hi everyone, thanks for having me. I'm very happy to be here. Um, I'll just start this at the beginning. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I'm here to give you the artist, artist perspective. Um, I'm Emily, I'm an artist um, working with um, environmental issues, I suppose, um, creating installations and projects that, um, sorry if you can hear me there, um, that invite a curiosity about the environment. And um, one of my recent projects is an environmental art um, initiative that goes into schools and educates. Um, and I'm, I'm not gonna say too much about it, and in fact, because I've got three um, young boys here to, I think on the video here, they're gonna tell you a bit about that. soft so you wouldn't uh, break the roots and you'd have to take out all the muck and then you put the, the plant in uh, gently because they're very delicate. The wind farm works using a pump in the centre. The water drips down and then um, it waters the plants and there's like a timer over there and it goes off every two hours. So now we're going to plant this first one, okay? So really gently, I need you guys to just put the pebbles in around it, okay? So take one hand and hold it very gently so you've got lemon time. Do you want to smell it? Okay. It's nice, is it? Okay, that's our first plant to go in the wind farm. Nice and completed. Shop was the basil plant. It smells delicious. I liked planting with yours. And now we have our own bit of nature in our school, which is just brilliant. I just I love it. So um, what you saw there was, um, oh, <laughs> thanks. Um, so what, what you saw there was um, a hydroponic system that we built using all recycled materials and the boys in that school, in Adesh school, just up the road in Dublin 8, got a chance to touch plants and put their hands in, in, into plants and smell them. And really they have, they have no green area in their school, they're kind of surrounded by concrete and the urban existence, I suppose. Um, so it was really powerful as a learning tool for them to see, to connect them with local food systems, growing their own food, and to teach them about issues like water scarcity and, and local food systems. So um, I, suppose, um, I, I suppose with that video in mind, I was gonna ask the audience if they, if you all, any of you can remember, and it just in your own heads, if you can remember a time when um, environmental issues or something like climate change became really real to you and it really meant something to you because I think in communicating climate change that's what's so important is getting people to connect in with it and feel something and that's what I'm trying to do every day um, with, with my artwork and with these school projects and this small company that I've set up Create Sustainability is going into schools and we're trying to, to uh, um, manifest that all the time. So just for the rest of the evening if you can hold that idea in your head and I suppose um, whatever time it was, who was there, what they did, or what, what made you feel, um, re made you feel that, uh, feel something about environmental issues and climate change, if you can keep that in your head. And I suppose for me, um, I've included a family photo because for me, um, climate change has made very real. Uh, I, I moved to Kenya with my family when I was a teenager, 
and it was all spectacular and I, I got to see a lot of wildlife and everything but at the same time I was really really struck by um, the severe floods that were or floods and droughts that were happening kind of all the time around where we were living and um, well to cut a long story short this is the house that we used to live in in Africa so uh, you know really and I, all the time I was coming back to Ireland and at the time there really wasn't a lot of talk about climate change so it was, it's an interesting perspective that I gained from that. Um, and I suppose I'll just flick through a few images um, of my other artwork and um, I'll just talk through them briefly. Um, so this is another uh, installation in a, in a gallery in Barcelona. It's a, a dragon made out of um, cardboard. And uh, I have a detail here so you can see. Um, yeah, I use a lot of recycled materials, but always with an emphasis to show people what can be done with with limited resources, but also to just grab their attention really about um, an environmental issue. This is a piece called Shoal. Um, it's a shoal of fish made out of tin cans. It was created to raise awareness of overfishing. And I now take this project into schools and we um, have created hundreds and hundreds of tin can fish to join the shoal and to raise awareness about the um, ocean pollution and overfishing. Um, I think I have another slide here, just a bit hanging in, in a gallery. It was created for the Dublin City of Science in 2010. Um, this is the, the original installation behind the um, window farm that you saw in the last video. Um, it was kind of a, a, a tower made out of sash windows and people could walk up to it and, and pump the water up and see it trickling down through the plants. And I suppose, again, it was to get people to think about where your food comes from and um, using this very um, up-to-date way of growing hydroponics and doing it in, in a very small space. So very practical for someone who lives in, an, in a very urban in, uh, apartment or something where they don't have space to grow, you can grow in your windows. And, and that's what led me to be doing these window farming projects. And the picture on the right there is my latest uh, achievement. It, looks, it doesn't look maybe as attractive, but um, we made it in, in Blackrock College just a, a week ago. And um, I'm really happy with it because it just uses very simple materials. And the boys were able to create it themselves in a couple of hours. And they had their own working hydroponic system by the end of the day. And uh, they would be able to grow some of their own food that way. So it's much cheaper and easier than the bigger ones. Um, and this is a piece, a solar powered piece created for um, the ESB. I think you'll see it moving around now. Um, this was a commission from the ESB. Um, I suppose companies also want to communicate that they're on, on to making, having a green image, I guess. And just a sneak preview to uh, a drawing of an idea for a work that I have. Um, and I really want to focus on climate change this year with my work. And um, at this year at the solstice, I want to make a projection in this very special location and uh, create a kind of immersive environment and, and have information about climate change. So I'd love to hear any ideas from anyone and I'd love to hear from anyone afterwards. So um, I'm not, I don't have business cards with me, but please do get in touch or talk to me afterwards. And uh, thank you all for listening and it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.